everybody! My name is Bryony and I am an artist from the Hepworth Wakefield Art Gallery and I hope you're all well. Today I'd like to share with you a creative activity for you to try at home and it's really simple and I hope it will be a lot of fun and it is creating your own sketchbook like this. And sketchbooks are brilliant Sketchbooks are a really important artist tool because they help us take notice and they help us use all our senses, our sight, our hearing, our smell, our taste, our touch and every sketchbook it's like, um, it's like a mini inquiry that we can set ourselves and these are great because they can fit in your pockets, you can take them when you're out and about and you can just hold them in your hand and you can be doing some drawings in your home. I'm going to show you some um, examples of the things I've done with sketchbooks um, but first of all I'll show you how to make them. Okay so what you'll need is some paper and a pair of scissors. Now you can use lots of different types of papers that you can find around your home. These are some of the things I've been gathering. Wrapping paper is really nice, colour paper, lined paper, an old paper bag, envelopes are really good, takeaway menus, flyers, and even this was an old bag of porridge. Um, anything that's destined for the bin, um, and they make really lovely textures in lots of different colours. So the first thing you need to do is to fold your paper in half. So it's good to start with um, a rectangle shape, so you might need to cut your paper into a rectangle shape first, get it nice and straight. It doesn't have to be a rectangle, it could be a square. So you're going to fold the corners into each other. You've got to be really neat at this stage, because otherwise the sketchbook will be a bit wonky. And then you fold it again in half, and again make sure the corners are all nicely um, lined up, and then fold it again. Again, make sure the corners are lined up. Okay, and then you unfold, fold it. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold it back in half so you've got the side that doesn't open, and that's where you're going to cut. And it's just one cut, and you're going to only cut it to halfway where there's a cross in your paper where the folds meet. So you're just going to cut it there, stop. Okay? So when you open it, you should have a little diamond and you're going to fold it in half long ways, okay, and then you're going to push, 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 and you can see how that naturally starts folding over, and then you can fold it in half again, and just again, just make sure all the corners are nicely neat, and then ta-da, you've got your sketchbook. So once you've made your sketchbook, you're ready to use it. And here are some ideas of things you could try. So here's one I made um, collecting different types of leaves in a local wood near me. And it was an observational drawing, but I wasn't using my eyes, I was using my touch sense. And I was closing my eyes um, and tracing my finger over the top of the the leaf and just drawing what I could feel okay and they create some really interesting drawings that was quite interesting using a ballpoint pen it's quite nice to change the types of drawing materials you're using because that will change the drawings that you end up with some really interesting ones and it really helps you focus sometimes we can get quite lazy just with drawing with our eyes but when you're drawing with your fingers you really notice the detail in objects and this doesn't have to just be with leaves it could be with objects around your home this is another nice one just looking at the the shape and I just used some uh, black watercolour just to look at the silhouettes Barbara Hepworth was really big on form and shape and texture it really inspired a lot of her sculptures so this is quite nice and this was using newspaper for the sketchbook they're quite nice and they sort of act like frames as well, of what's behind them.
Listening to music, I listen to three different types of music, so using my hearing sense and drawing what I could hear. That was quite a nice one. Three very different types of music. That was Beyonce. Um, and they come up with some really nice abstract textures and drawings. As you can see, you can use them in lots of different ways and, and I hope you have fun with it. Um, and just be inventive. Use materials that you normally wouldn't think which you could use for an art sketchbook and I'm sure you'll come up with lots of really interesting um, ideas and responses and we'd love to find out what you do. Have fun!